Hi, this is Chris Coombs with The Truth and Diabetes, and I do this when I'm in deep thought. I'm just kidding. Anyway, the other day I got an email from my good friend Maria, contributor to The Truth and Diabetes, who said, hey, why don't we do a Q&A type interview asking questions about your pump? I thought, hey, that's a great idea. But with Maria's schedule and my schedule, we haven't been able to get together to do it, and my camera's been missing. So in this video, the part of Maria will be played by Katie. Now, Katie, by chance, do you make, like, really, really good salsa? I don't know how to make salsa. <laughs> well, that's too bad, because Maria does. But anyway, take it away, Maria. Do you have to dial in the amount of carbs that you are eating? Okay, simple answer on that question, yes. On this particular pump, it's called the Animus, or the One Touch Ping. It has this little feature called Easy Carb. It's cool, because you enter in the amount of carbs that you eat, you enter in what your blood sugar is, and based on what your blood sugar is. If it's high or low, it will make adjustments and give you insulin for the carbohydrates you're eating. But it doesn't know how to do that by itself. You do have to tell it what to do. Do you have to use a special type of insulin brand? No. It actually will work with Humalog or Novolog, so you're not taking long-acting insulin with the pump, just the one type. Give you so much per hour, which is your basal rate, and then you take insulin for carbs when you eat or for a correction dose. However, there is a third brand of insulin that I don't remember what it's called, but there is a third option out there that you can use in the pump. How does the pump know when you need insulin? I tell it. So it gives you so much an hour. Again, that's called your basal rate. Your doctor or your diabetes educator help you dial that in. The other thing, when you're going to eat, um, you take a bolus just like you take an injection. Or the other side of that, if you've got a high blood sugar, you can take a bolus of insulin through the pump. However, if you're bolusing through the pump and your blood sugars aren't coming down, that's when you have to check the site where the pump goes in to make sure that you don't have an inclusion or blockage. Jana just said, I'm not delivering insulin because it's out and it's time for a change. But anyway, if you've got an inclusion or blockage like that and you've got high blood sugar not coming down, change that site. Can you overdose, per se, on insulin with a pump? You know, I think there are some safeguards, but absolutely. Could you get too much insulin on a pump? You bet. So, I mean, a lot of people think that when you get a pump, it just acts like a pancreas and you're automated and it knows exactly what to do. Truthfully, you have to tell it what to do. And can you give yourself too much insulin with a pump? Absolutely. How do you deal with various daily activities? Showers, workout, sleep? You know, that's, that's another good thing about the pump is... I'm finding it to be pretty easy to acclimate to it again. I got used to it. I was off of my pump for about 10 years, went back on the pump, and so far the only real blooper I had is this tubing will hang out sometimes and it will catch on things and snag on things. But as far as like taking a shower, easy peasy. There's a little thing right here. You disconnect it like that. Boom, your pump is off. Now this pump actually I believe can go underwater somewhat splash proof but you know retail on this guy is about five thousand dollars so would I want to take it underwater no I wouldn't so other than that it goes on my belt clip it goes in my pant pocket you know it could be actually pretty inconspicuous if you want it to be um, as far as sleeping this is why I love a community when I was on my pump before I get my pump I throw my pump I go to bed oftentimes in the night I'd sleep it would wrap around me, not necessarily around my neck, but around my body, because I roll over in my sleep a lot. And I did that and the tubing broke. Well, this is why I love a, a community, is look, all I have to do when I sleep, again, I'll stick it on there. And I'll tuck that in my shorts, I'm good. I won't sleep directly on top of it. So really, I'm finding that um, acclimating to everyday life pretty simple on a pump. But uh, those were the basic questions that Maria had. Thank you so much for submitting those, Maria. I do want to have other questions from you folks, whether it's like, how do you change a site or what do you do with this? I'm going to try and do as much as I can to help people um, to understand how a pump works as I learn because a lot of this stuff is familiar to me because I've done it, but at the same time, you know, I haven't done it for a good 10, 12 years now, so still new to me. So anyway, I am your partner in taking on your diabetes and learning how to rock an insulin pump. Um, on an active lifestyle. So remember, please give me questions, comments, feedback, so I'll make sure I take care of you. Remember, disease, destiny, it's your choice.